What is going on people of YouTube? My name is BKO and welcome back to the FBL preview where we look at the upcoming game week and think who is good to bring in and we've also got Fancy Tote mixed in with that as well. But to kick things off, because I haven't really got much time, I'm not going to waffle. Although I'm heading towards waffling. We're going to go straight into the goalkeepers and um, one of them is very tall. And the four goalkeepers we've got for you today are Courtois, Four Star Czech and Pope. Courtois face off against Bournemouth in the late kickoff, and I believe Chelsea should be getting a clean sheet in that. If they don't let themselves down, so that's why Courtois in there should be getting a clean sheet. Four Star could be involved in a nil-nil. I believe it is going to be nil-nil between Brighton and Southampton. Czech faces off against Swansea. Swansea known for going away from home and setting up shop, not really looking to attack, getting those nil-nil draws to sort of steadily getting those points for me I feel like it should be an easy clean sheet for Arsenal there Czech will probably have to do nothing I don't even think you have to do anything and uh, Pope is in um, for Burnley because uh, face off against Newcastle I think they could get a clean sheet if not it could make a few decent saves um, and become the new saving goalkeeper uh, the safety as I like to say um, so those four are probably the best bets for me now we move on to Dream Team, which is a game mode on Fantasy Toe, where you get to pick the other players you think are going to score the most in this game week. Now, I haven't yet won. Uh, I've done it for, I think, five or so game weeks. This I'm feeling confident, but I'm not. I'm really not feeling confident. My team is Courtois in goal. We've got Walgrass, Villaqueta, Kalasinac in the defence, going for a 3-4-3. Three, three. We've got Salah, Hazard, Sane and Sanchez across the midfield, and Rooney, Lacazette and Vardy up top. Um, it's a very big team orientated again, the only one who isn't in a big team is Vardy and um, it could be interesting, I think I could get lucky and have a few decent results but I'm not feeling too confident, it's the best I could come up with if you want to fancy yourself doing any better, links in the description Next up we've got the defenders, we've got Walcras, Bilicueta, Klasnach, Cedric Ward and Kiko Firmina starting off, I think I say his name anyway, starting off with Walker um, Man City, I didn't put the goalkeeper in there because I feel like West Brom could potentially um, be on those teams to get a goal, um, but I feel like Man City would also score, but if they do get a clean sheet, I feel like Walker will get those points obviously, if he put, as long as he plays, and Walker also, um, attacking wise, could be a good attacking outlet for a very defensive team, whipping those balls in um, into decent areas for Aguero and co, um, so I believe Walker could be a decent player too. Aspi de Cuesta, very versatile um, is Aspi de Cuesta. Started playing centre back this season, has played right wing back a few times, ended up left wing back in the last game and scored a very important goal in their 4 2 win. So he, I think, is going to be a very big player this season. Um, Klasinac as well. I feel like all Arsenal players in the defence have had decent sort of um, points coming back. Um, I feel like Klasinac deserves his turn, so this week it will be his. Um, Cedric for Southampton, again I've said it could be, it probably is going to be a nil-nil, um, so I don't think he'll have um, much worry getting his uh, clean sheet points. you got Ward as well from Burnley, could be getting a clean sheet, but also maybe that attacking option he has proved in the past he can be a decent option going forward. And Kigo Firmino, Watford face off against Stoke. I don't know if it's going to be a clean sheet, I think it could be a score draw, but Watford going forward could be good and Kiko Firmino could get those attacking returns. Next up we've got Fancy Totes 5 aside where we pick one of the featured fixtures they've selected and put a 5 aside of it. Three players only allowed from each team so you're allowed three from one, two from the other and this week one of the selections are Man United versus Tottenham so I have to go for that, the early kickoff. We've got Lukaku and Kane up front, Eriksen in the defence, Eriksen in midfield sorry, Trippier in defence and De Gea in goal. I feel like it's the best it this is the best you can do. Uh, I don't think any of the Man United defenders on midfielders get above Trippier or Eriksen. And up front, Kane and Lukaku, they're both beasts. They both will probably end up scoring. Um, and if not, get clean sheet points from from Trippier and De Gea and one from Eriksen. So hopefully I can pick the points up there. Moving on to midfielders, we've got Xhaka of Arsenal, we've got Hazard, Sella, Rikarlison, Antonio and Mares all being selected this week. And no Man City midfielders because... Let me just say it now, you could pick any of them. Pep rotation, I'm not putting my neck out on the line, I've done it so many times in the past, and it's bit me in the bum, so I'm not doing it. Pick anyone, I, I don't know who to pick. I've gone for Sane. If you aren't asked, there we go, there we go. Uh, we've got Xhaka um, first. Xhaka, or Sanchez, or Rosa, or Ramsey, I like any of them, but Xhaka seems to be getting back in the points, and people said, you know, City would be in our 2 high headed um, This season, he's like one yellow card, and that's it. 
Last season he was, you know, getting red cards and a lot of yellow cards. This season he's calmed down. He's got four assists, which is a lot more than last season in the entirety of that season. So I think Xhaka could be a decent bet. He's on corners, and if Mertesacker's playing. It's like a homing beacon, isn't he? Um, Hazard as well comes in. I feel like the trickery of Hazard could work wonders against a Bournemouth-style team. Uh, you got Salah as well against Salah. The pace um, could really rip Huddersfield open. Uh, you've also got Ricarlison for Watford, becoming a really, really good player for points scoring. you got Antonio Mares as well to end things off. Antonio, because I feel like very versatile in the attack, and I feel like Palace will not like that. And Mares simply because... He has been in okay form, got attacking returns in the last two games. And West Brom coming up, uh, West Brom, um, sorry, Everton coming up. I believe Mares could be looking for maybe some more attacking returns as they don't think Everton are going to improve much from when they sacked Coleman. Next up, we've got Star Club and Star Player on Fantasy Tote. This is basically where you pick the team that's going to score the most points in a collective and the player that's going to score the most points in general. And... You know, those two things, if you win separately, you could win money depending on how much you bet because it's all pool betting, of course, um, here on Fantasy Toad. My star team is going to be Arsenal this week. A home tie against Swansea. I'm thinking clean sheet points all round if they're playing five at the back with Bellerin, Kolasinac, um, Mertesaka, Monreal and Koscielny. I'm going to check. That's six clean sheet points. A lot of attacking returns maybe for Bellerin, um, Monreal or anyone, really. Um, Clash Nash as well. Uh, attacking returns could be high as well. Could be 2 or 3 nil, uh, Maybe even more. So I feel like Arsenal this week, easy, easy bet. Although every time I say that, I get it wrong. And uh, as for star player, um, Aspid Quetta comes in again. I've picked him quite a few times, uh, really, as my star player. But this week I think it could be good. I think he could be getting clean sheet, attacking returns. And also his versatile can play anywhere on the defence. So Aspid Quetta for me is definitely going to be scoring high points. Hopefully. And finally, we've got the attackers. Let's speed run through these. We've got Jesus, Kane, Lacazette, Rooney and Vardy. Uh, Jesus comes in because Aguero played 120 minutes midweek. So I've got a bad feeling Pep Rotation could come in. But then, of course, um, you know, you've got the fact that Jesus played 40 minutes less midweek. So you're probably going to be seeing Jesus rested and Aguero starting. But I've got a, I've got a feeling it could be Aguero this time. So, um... Jesus is going to be starting at the weekend. Kane comes in. Um, he's the person to sort of help Tottenham if they're in a bad spot. If they need a goal, he'll come in. And uh, especially if they're not getting many chances, if they get one to Kane, could be putting it away. Lacquer gets another one. Home against Arsenal. He loves a home game. A home against Swansea, sorry. He loves a home game. Um, he loves a goal. And a safe bet for at least one is Lacazette this week in my eyes. Then we've got two cheaper options, Rooney and Vardy. They both play against each other um, in the later game on Sunday. Leicester at home, Everton away. And I feel like it could be a score draw or a score win for either side. Um, most probably Leicester. And um, they both could score, Rooney being rejuvenated under a new management style, hopefully. And uh, Vardy using his pace effectively, hopefully. But we'll wait and see. And that happens to be that... For this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know in the comment section down below what players have I suggested that you like, and who have I missed apart from Man City midfielders? Leave, leave them out. Uh, but any comments you've got, leave them all down below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.